Good morning, Bengals. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy Thursday. I'm Eric. And I'm Noah. And now for your Bengal Nation news. Good morning. We hope you had the chance to take one of Mr. Gayhart's classes this year. Our own Brianna Ware has more on this special social studies teacher. Mr. Gayhart's story about becoming a teacher is different than most and in some ways inspiring. As he describes how he became a teacher, he tells how his family helped him. Uh, how I became a teacher is a little different than the normal uh, route to teaching. Um, normally you would go to high school and then you'd go to college and you would become a teacher. Well, I dropped out of high school, um, just got too caught up in all the nonsense, all the distractions, and, uh, and dropped out. So after I dropped out, I ended up getting a GED. Uh, I worked a lot, uh, went into the military because I didn't really have any other options. Though Mr. Gayhart did drop out of high school, he had his wife and daughter pushing him to move forward and strive to be better. When I got out, um, it, it's, I met my, was now my wife, and uh, when she got pregnant, I sort of had uh, a come to Jesus meeting with myself, essentially like, do I continue to do all this the same nonsense, or do I put my big boy pants on and, and, and grow up? And so that's what I did. When, so when she was born, I, I took my GD, applied to a community college, went to a community college for a couple of semesters until I transferred to Winthrop University, where I got my bachelor's degree in history and a master's degree in education. Mr. Gayhart enjoys teaching. He likes the working environment here at BHS and the students here. I got a job teaching here at Blackwood High School. Uh, it, it's, it's a big school, there's a lot going on, but uh, the students here are, are, are very good. Uh, it's a good working environment, so um, I, I enjoy it very much. Mr. Gayhart's favorite part about being a teacher is connecting with the students and having a positive relationship with them. The thing I look forward to most is just coming in and chatting and playing around uh, with, with you guys. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about relationships, I think. Um, Ten years from now, you walk out of my psychology class, are you going to know anything about psychology? Maybe, maybe not, but you'll remember the attention, hopefully, that I gave you, um, the one-on-one the -on -one relationship sort of thing. So that's the thing I look forward to. As Mr. Gayhart said, he wanted his students to remember him in their one-on-one -on -one relationship and attention he gave my first impression with the grandma was uh, he was cool, uh, he was nice, he wasn't very pushy or strict, but you know, so he's still like really casual, but uh, he's a good teacher. He's a pretty cool guy. My impression of him, he's pretty cool, fun. <laughs> Mr. Gayhart describes the moment when he realized he wanted to go to college and complete his education. My daughter was born and I, I had the realization that I wanted to go to college and that the fact that I had screwed around for a large part of my high school, what, what should have been my high school career, it put me behind. And so that, the fact that I was always behind what was like an ever-present, like, thing in my mind where I, it gave me such a sense of urgency to continue to strive and to push and to hurry up and, and that sort of thing. So being in, in college, like I always had that, that pushing, my past pushing me forward. So. 
Great job on that feature. All FBLA members, please be reminded of the social event tonight from 5 to 6 in room 507. Please check your email for further details. The Spring Dance Concert is this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the BHS Auditorium. Get your tickets in the front office for only $3 in advance or purchase them at the door for $5. See you there. Students, please check your emails for a message from Coach Ehrlich about sports psychology class next year. If you're interested, fill your name in the form. Let him know if you have any questions at all. Tutoring will be held from 4 to 5 uh, for English 3 and 4 in Portable 8. Biology in room 810 and Algebra 1 in room 116. Work detail can also be served from 4 to 7 o'clock. Are you interested in saving lives? HOSA is sponsoring the Spring Blood Drive Tuesday, April 25th. Please see a HOSA member in the atrium during lunch or stop by in room 407 to schedule your donation time. Attention juniors and seniors, this is the last week to buy prom tickets. There are $95 for sale at lunch in the auditorium. Seniors who won last year get their tickets for free this year, but still need to RSVP at the prom table. Good luck to the following teams in action today. Boys lacrosse in the second round of the playoffs at Dutch Fork. Boys tennis at White Knoll. Track and region championships at Spring Valley. JV and varsity softball at Gray Collegate. JV baseball at Spring Valley. B team baseball at home against Spring Valley. That's all for news now to weather and birthdays. What's up guys, I'm Eric with your weather and birthdays. It's currently 62 degrees with partially cloudy skies. The high for today will be 81 degrees with mostly sunny skies. The high for today will, the high for tomorrow, sorry, will be 86 degrees in the afternoon. That's all for weather. And now let's wish happy birthday to those students who are celebrating today. Andrea Curde, Shania Cole, Megan Warren, and Ellen Turner. That's all for today. Have a great day, Bengals.